All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the transaxle back up on the, the differential housing. Um, the brake plate is ready to go on the, the transaxle housing. We've got the gasket already mounted on the, the housing for the rear transaxle. And the brake plate has these locations where these pins fit on the, the transaxle. And the way I position the, the jack is actually heavy on this side. But once I get this, this brake plate on, it'll balance it out. And then I can actually jack the axle up and then begin to spin it and get it in location to where I can actually bolt it on. Um, what I'm going to do now is it's going to take me a little bit to position it and get it in this location and I'll come back and I'll show you how I put a chain around it to make sure that I'm secure and that I'll, I'll be pulling it up from the inside and from the outside with this jack. So I'll be back in just a minute. The, the, the transaxle is lined up, it's, it's close, it's not exact, but what I like to do now, since I've got it up in the air, um, in order to kind of get it lined up, I use a, a crowbar, and just because this thing is so heavy, and you've got, you might have it on a, uh, on a floor jack, I'll slide the, the end of the, of the crowbar, and I'll use it to bump it over left or right, however which way I need it. Right now, I've got it pretty much lined up in center of where the pinion the pinion gear is coming out. Uh, it's not high enough yet. It's still got, you know, you're looking at about four or five inches right here. Um, what I'll do next, I'm going to get it a little bit higher and then I'm going to go on the inside and I'm going to drop a chain around it and actually put it up on the roll cages on the inside of the, inside the, of the, um, of the machine here. So, uh, in just a few minutes, I'll, I'll come back and we'll show putting it, we'll have a chain around it and we'll start actually getting it closer to where we can bolt it on. What I like to do now, since I'm, since I can still reach in there and get it from the outside, is I'll take two bolts and I'll stick them in the top. I can see it there. And you can see that I'm still a good four inches down with the, uh, with that, uh, sun disc that's back there. Every, uh, every couple of minutes I reach back and I make sure that, you can hear it right now, make sure that, that brake plate is secure back to the, all the way to the surface of the transaxle because we don't want it to slip off. Um, but uh, in just a few more minutes, we'll put the chain around it. We'll start seeing if we can get it closer to bolting on. So down here, we still got some room to come up and you can see the, uh, the pins that actually hold the brake plate in place. And I'm right up against that, uh, that pinion gear that's sitting in here, we still got some room to go. You know, there's just so many things that you got to maneuver around to get this thing in place. So, uh, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more with the uh, with the floor jack, and then as soon as I get where I can clear this pinion gear and kind of and start moving forward, I'm gonna drop a chain down and around and go up on the roll cage. I've got the. I've got the chain around the transaxle and it goes all the way around. You can see that everything's getting close to where it's going to is going to bolt on here, but just because of how high the jack is and because I've got to maneuver it around to line it up, uh, I want to have this chain on here just in case anything slips on the jack that it'll be supported up here. And I've got this come along that's that's going over the roll cage right now, so uh, it'll it'll hold it in place if anything does happen. Uh, but it also gives me a little more security when I'm moving it around trying to slide it onto the pinion gear. Since now the pinion gear is going into the transaxle and uh, inside that, uh, uh, inside the pinion, uh, or, or the pinion uh, gear that's coming out of this differential is going inside the, uh, the pinion gears that are in the, uh, inside the transaxle. So we're going to line those up. Uh, and in this case, I know that earlier I said that I put bolts in here. Uh, this hydraulic line was in the way and it was pulling it back, so I pulled them out. So now I'll be able to slip them back on and we'll be able to bolt them in. But um, that's what we're trying next. We're going to line it up and then I'll show you bolting it on.
Well, after struggling with it for a little while, um, I got it in there. As I've already started getting the bolts um, tightened up. Let me see if I can show you. Bolts are getting tightened on. Now I've got a valve that needs to go on over here. But we can start going ahead and, and bolting the whole transaxle to the whole um, chassis of this machine. Got the big, uh, almost like a um, plate washer here that goes underneath. Got the big bolts that drop down. There's four of those. Uh, we're going to get those on, start putting the hydraulic fluid in, and then uh, it should be ready to go. So hopefully I've helped someone out. Um, uh, I did it because uh, there's a lot of people out there that have done things that have helped me out when I've come across a challenge. Um, maybe it just gives you a little bit of an idea on what it would entail to do wet breaks for yourself. Uh, and so I don't do many of these, but uh, hopefully I have helped somebody out. Thanks.